Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about uh, Express. So uh, from last class, we have already uh, built an app uh, using Node.js. But in Node.js, when we uh, when we start a server, we create a server file. We need to do a lot of uh, if else condition judgment, right? So it is pretty uh, redundant. It's not flexible enough. So that's also the reason why, because because for some other reasons, we need to use some of uh, you know frameworks to get the backend job done. So now uh, we just use this project again from last class. As you can see here, we have a uh, list of users and we can add something here. Uh, and submit and the new user will be just add, will be added to the user's list, right? But this one, the backend is uh, written by Node.js, but in this class, we gonna use it. Uh, we're gonna use Express. So first thing is we need to know how the um, Express get request and then respond to requests. So. Uh, we just delete this server. And we'll create a file called express.js. Okay. So how do we create a, a server using this framework? We do counts express. Right, we need to uh, import this, and normally we call this server as app app. <coughs> you can use uh, whatever the name is, right? Server or other uh, names, right? It just depends your company's project. So, Express, and uh, we have app .listen port three thousand. That's it. Now we have a server listening uh, and running on the parts three thousand. So also we wanna get a response something, right? So suppose we have a um, string, right? Request and response. Right? So when we, uh, the URL is string, uh, we, we're gonna, you know, respond something like just a, a string. So in Express, you can either use the you know the original API of Node.js like rest.end, or you can use rest.send. This is API of Express. So what the difference? Basically, uh, um, s uh response dot send give you a better encapsulation right this api is just, um will handle more things um than rest dot end the uh, node.js original api i'm going to show you step by step so first we need we just uh, return something <coughs> okay uh then we uh Node on. I don't remember if I have talked about this before. So, Node Mon <coughs> is a plugin uh, that uh, if you are using this Node Mon plugin, you can just run the server all the time. Even though you change something, um, you change the server file, uh, it will just compile. The server file will be compiled automatically. So, if you do Node dot server. Every time you change the server dot js, you have to uh, you know uh, shut shut down the server, or start the server, and restart it again. But if you are using node mon node monitor, then every time if you change the server dot js file, um, you don't have to restart the server time and time again. So npm install node mod, right so because i've already installed that so i just use it directly and 
This file is called express.js, right? So now it is running and running on the port 3000 not cannot get um, root URL, right? Because we haven't handled this. So URL is a string. As you can see here, so string has been replaced, uh, has been responded, right? So right, just a string, just a string. Uh, also, we can accept string. We can respond a file, right? We can respond a HTML, right? So now we just need to create an uh, HTML file right here. So I just use this as a template. Uh, this is a template of a EJS, uh, EJS template engine. But anyway, this is just a HTML file. So right here, I'm gonna add one called test. Okay. So if you wanna respect respond, then we just do send dot um, current folder index dot html. Okay. Let's run this server again. Express string, no problem. HTML. As you can see here, it returns a string, right? So this is not a HTML file. Why? Because you cannot set use this API to send file. You need a uh, another API called send file, right? So let's try it again. So it says the pass must be obsolete or specify root to. It means that this this it means that this uh, the pass of this file is wrong. So why? Because um, right here you need to uh, off, uh, provide a uh, obsolete um, absolute path it means that we need to give it a something like direct name pass dot john something like this so it, path is another uh, module we need to use right so We need to import this first. So what does this mean? Direct name. I'm just gonna print this. All right. So let's request this. Direct name is not defend. Yeah, as you can see here, so test has been um, has been responded, right? So let's take a look at this. So right here, as you can see. So this is the console log, um, direct name, right? So it will just give you a direct name, directory name from the root directory um, to, uh, and uh, the destiny, destination uh, directory is just your current folder. Right, so current folder is express basic app. And you use this drone method to concatenate these two paths together. Right? So even though if you don't, if you are using this draw method, if you, you don't provide a slash here, you just simply put a file name here. Let's try it. It's still working, right? So how about this? Right, it's still working. So if you use this, this API pass.john, so you don't have to worry about, um, your, you know, as long as you can uh, provide this file, file name, it will just, uh, you know, pass.john will handle 
rest of the thing. Talking it, give give it a um. Absolute, 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 uh, absolute path dynamically, right? What whatever your current folder is, it will give you a current folder. Right? So, yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, I'm gonna tell about uh, tell you about this direct name in uh, I mean deeper in the future use cases right i'm gonna not talk about this right here so again um using node.js the or plant of uh, node.js or vanilla node.js um there is uh, something we need to handle which is content type right so i give give it a uh gbk gbk means uh some special character like like some chinese or something so um now I'm just gonna respond from a Chinese, whatever you know, uh, Korean, um, Japanese, or something. You can trade. So I wanna response this. <coughs> so uh, in raw a plan Node.js or vanilla Node.js, when we set something like special character here, we need to specify content tab right from last class based on what we know. But if you are using Express framework, let's try it. Okay. As you can see here, right? So the content tab has um has been. Um, put into the header automatically, right? So Yeah, as you can see here, we didn't specify which uh, um, You know, didn't specify the char 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 set and a content tab, right? So express did it for us it ex express this framework just uh, complete the content tag auto automatically. Yeah, no problem at all, right? Uh, yeah, also, th uh, so string, uh, HTML file, uh, special character, and last thing is, Yeah, we can also give it an image. So um, actually, image is nothing uh, special. It's just pretty similar to this um, special character, right? So how about we just respond a JSON? So um, const um, user name pickle. Let's try this, right? So, user, user, all right. Okay, uh, we need to, use this node mod, so express. Okay, special character. user as you can see here so uh, a, 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 a JavaScript object has been responded right so yeah so as you can see here we don't have to do if if else if else anymore right and we don't need to handle the content tab manually we need to uh, we don't need to end this response response anymore and this express 
or Express Framework handle all those things for us, right? This is super convenient. It is just super convenient, all right? So now we know then how it works, how Express works, and I'm gonna sh show you a use case. I mean, I'm gonna show you in an example. We're gonna rewrite this uh, user list again, right? So uh, this is an Express file, and this is a, we don't need this test anymore. Uh, okay, so now we need to print the list uh, first we gonna you know okay this is there's no server yet so we're gonna create a server dot js okay. so counts express require express okay. So there is uh, there is some users. So users is an array. In the array we have user ID one, user name fake, user detail blah blah blah. One object, two objects, three objects. Username Tom and Jerry. Okay. So we we need to create a a server, right? So Express. We uh, run this server on the port three thousand. Okay. Uh, this is the front end port, so it is 8080, and the server port should be here, 3000. Okay, and um, now it is listening and app dot uh, get. So we need to print users first, right? So, uh, just to try to uh, mention this. As you can see here, so I, I, I add a, a slash API in the middle um, to um, to separate from the you know the front end routers and uh, um, URL request, right? So we have already talked about this before from in the React tutorial, uh, this is about this is a standard, uh, a best practice of uh, you know uh, router or URL. Um, so anyway, uh, let's just try users first. All right. So um, we got a rest dot send users. Right. Okay. As you can see it here, so uh, the front end is running. So we need to start server. Okay, now server is running. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you can see here, so um, the data has been printed on the front end uh, successfully. And uh, so uh, server has been printed. So uh, ex uh, besides server, a uh, bit besides users, we need to handle uh, add a user, right? So we want to add a user or something in right here. We haven't handled this request yet, so 
add user. <laughs> so how do we add a user? So we need to get uh, get the value from the front end right right here. Um, the username and uh, user detail, right? So uh, we have already talked about from last class. Uh, we need to so right here, as you can see, we have uh, Axios get request we send to the backend um, in this URL API dot user and uh, the value we sent <coughs> right here is a username uh, we get value from the username input field and user detail and we pass it as an object so from la last class in a vanilla node.js or plant node.js uh, we need to do if else we need to um, determine the path name and we, we need to convert that into uh, an object but now you are using a framework so the framework has already handled that for you um, let's try query first um, so Okay, uh, right here I'm a it's better to run here so that you can have a better um, you have a bigger sc screen so server is running node set request as you can see here so you can just get uh, the information of this get request as an object by using this request or query why, why you can use the right here because you are using express framework right now uh, you, you you can get this so we can just use it directly so suppose we want to add a new user to the list so it means that uh, we can do let object uh, t, uh, equal to user id and uh, users dot lens uh, plus one and uh, user name uh, recur query user name we can do user detail request dot query dot user detail okay now we have a new user object we just push this to users <coughs> uh, a little bit of review so as you can see here the, so this button is a link right so one once you click the button the component will just go back to users list component right and the user list will send a request to get the users right here so this is the workflow right so now let's try it <coughs> i want to add a user uh oh mm, details why the details didn't okay detail All right tempo here Yeah, as you can see here, so new user has been added to the bottom of the list, right? So if you want to add on the top of the list, uh, I have our issue from last class, right? So this is pretty straightforward. So besides that, the last thing is, now we have, uh, we can get the value from uh, the request query, but, but you know, we send some. We send a request with our own data. Normally, we send a post request instead of a get request, right? So if you can, if you see it here, we 
we send a get request right here using axios right from front end but actually we we pass something um we pass an object here so it's better to use a post i mean it's, it's better practice actually so suppose i want to set up post request right so let's handle this post add a user right so still i want to get um you know this request dot query and let's see what happened all right um i just comment this out for the moment Yeah, now I have changed it to the post request. And uh, let me see if the, okay. So let's start server. Okay. Yeah, users. We add a user, we do, we submit. As you can see here, so new user has not been added to list, why? Okay, let's take a look as you can see here so there is an empty there is an empty object here why because if you are sending if you are getting a post request you cannot get the post body um, using this request of query this is only for get request so how do we get the information from from in or from the user input uh, when the user sent out the post request um if you want to use this we have to uh, use another library or module called body passer okay so i'm gonna uh explain you a little bit and in the future classes i'm gonna explain this uh, in detail this is a middleware uh, actually you can just uh, understand it as a plugin uh, pl back back end plugins called middleware right so the front end plugin is called plugin so this is also a you know a plugin i'm gonna read some middlewares myself in the futures class or futures tutorial and uh, let's just take a look at how to use it directly so we have this express app and uh, we need to add this to our source code file right below this uh, parse application uh, just ignore this drag for the moment all right so app.use set header right end uh, yeah we have a post right here okay so let's try it this is this one's for url encoded uh, this one for json body because we pass we get a user input, username, and a user detail, and we're passing it as a JSON object, right? So we just use this one. We copy this right here. So, uh, I'm not right here. So we don't need need this anymore. So create a add user so the difference is this one is post add, add user right and this one is get add user so uh how do we get how do we get it um okay i'm just gonna show you directly so it's just in the uh, request the body. And I think it's pretty straightforward. So now um, the server is running, right? So 
let's go back this and API users request field with status so something wrong here at user front end hmm it looks like just fun Now this part. So uh, let's just open this and uh, look at this. Why it fails? Error for trend proxy. Oh, so okay. Let's just restart server. Jason the parser. Okay, so before because we have already uh, used uh, used this one, so app use body parser dot json, so we don't need to specify which kind of way to encode it because this one has already applied globally or system wide, so now it works right. So start starting Node.js server and it works, and we can get user this with with no problem, and we enter the name enter the detail and submit back to this as you can see here so we got this project object at Parmas as you can see here Parmas here right so we just passed that uh, as a Parms uh, object so um, Parms object so now we if we want to get it we just gave it promise right now this is the object we passed it from the front end and uh, let me click clear this and we have add user we have headers as you can see here so this URL is just simply add user and all the data has been passed right here. So request payload, promise, username, user details. Right. So we just parse it in this way. There's no like URL um, encoding or decoding thing. Question mark username equal to user detail equal to. We just pass the object right here at bottom. Right. So now we can get it. Same thing. This one is user. So this one is up oh, body dot palms up oh, body dot palms username. Okay. Again, look at this again. So post. We sent well, from the front end. We send a post request. All right, so we just open this. Yes, new user has been added to the users list successfully. Uh, you may have already noticed that there is a strict land here. Is it is if you. Just uh, put your cursor um, on that, and it says the body password is the the cap uh, the bracket. Um, so why 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 we use it? Actually, there is a uh, you know the express itself has a um, how to say um, a a function. This is called JSON. You know to parse the JSON. Uh, data from the request body, <coughs> but uh, after Express four or five, and uh, they don't want to put a lot of method on the Express itself. Is 
it might be a little bit heavy so uh, the express team create a body passer but after another one generation uh, after like express till express 5 you know they just put this master back to express so what do i mean okay let me show you this so let's come go uh, let's come to this node modules so you have a library called express right so now express here and we have express and we have express dot, uh, dot js file this is the express object or express module right what we use from here right so if you s if you look at this there's body parser so what this what did express do upon uh, do about the body passer I search body as you can see here so body passer dot JSON has been added to express dot JSON so how we use that we use body passer dot JSON right here right so it means that you don't need this body passer dot JSON you can do directly express dot JSON express dot url encoded right so uh this time you need to take a look at this source code of uh, express a little bit so it, i think it's pretty straightforward as long as you can understand um, how the common i mean node.js do uh import and export probably i would just uh explain the import and and export rules of node.js um also name it as common js or um probably not it, it, it depends i'm still thinking about it so body passer we we just added to the express.json and we just add this add this body passer to this express.json api and uh, the body passer has be import from here so require body passer right so again we're back to this and uh, Again, we start server. Hmm. Again, it works, right? So right here, uh, as you can see here, there's no warning anymore, and right? there's no like obsolete uh, legacy warning anymore you can just use direct, uh, express directly and in this way you don't have this you don't have to import this body password again but if you want you can still use that body um, parser object or a function you have imported um, from here it just depends on you um, either way is correct they are exactly same all right so yeah, we add user to the user list to use uh, uh, get request and uh, post request. Right. Now we have already finished that uh, finished writing. Uh, we have rewrite the user list project, right? So this is uh, the basic express basic app and in the next class we prob we're just gonna uh, take a look at the full um, life circle working uh, workflow of express so we can build it up a uh, uh, CRUD application based on the express which I'm gonna introduce you more about the express all right okay so this is to, uh, pretty much about express framework basic today.